Okay, we need to load the game and get out of wait 30% oh yeah well I mean there's there's like bonuses and stuff that's cool all right so we last left off at the now that we're men stage and we unlocked the the bowling whatever I forgot what it's called in this game it's, uh, Sponge Bowl. Hey, it's not... Yeah, Bubble Bowl is what it's called in battle. Um, alright. Well, so yeah, it's just a matter of traversing this area. I've kind of... I don't really have much of a sense of direction right now. <laughs> Bikini Bottom, one hapless soul at a time. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. That's like the one voice line that stands out to me the most in, uh... In battle. I don't know why. It's just fucking it sticks with me. No gutter, no gutter. Oh damn, look at all those weights. Boing. Whoa, oh. There we go. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, I need to better about these guys. Oh god, I'm just remembering that fucking gauntlet we had to go through last time. That was rough. I'm, I'm glad we are past that. Although, I should expect maybe something a little more difficult coming up. Just, I mean, not not because I know, but just for the sake of expectation. <laughs> What is that? That's a that's a Goober Goober token. Oh shit. How do I get over there? Oh, are you gonna leave me over there? No, you're taking me somewhere else. Oh, you know, this might be might be a job for Pat Rick. Let's just go in here and see what they got for us. Um... Oh! Oh, damn. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm trapped. Oh. Yo, Pro Gaming Nerd Twitch donated $12.27. Thank you so much! Said, uh, Penny, me and my friends were inspired by your videos to create a fan of, of our own of Sonic Unleashed. I can't thank you enough for giving me one of the most fun nights of my life. Hell yeah, that's awesome! Hey, thanks for letting me know. That that's rad. I, I I love seeing people have fun with the format. It's it's super cool. the on bottom <laughs> this is very this is very spongebob doom esque yeah <laughs> I hate I hate these fuckers laughs infuriating It's just you. Well, actually, no. It's in this case, it's both. The room actually is spinning. Well, the floor is spinning more precisely, but something in the room is spinning. A part of the room's foundation okay, is, is rotating. On the sponge? Okay. But he do be singing about being a man, though. Top 5 Sponge Moments Part 2 
Ah, uh, that should have been the name of this stream. <laughs> Oh no. I'm one sploosh away from my demise. Oh no, no, okay. Ooh. Damn. Oh, we're so close to a penis point. Health. Killing, but not heavy. I'm wondering how many of these side things I should do. I guess it... Oh, it's a floating block challenge. This shouldn't take too long. Oh, it's Patrick. Oh no, these got the spikes. This is very, uh, this is very SpongeBob's Dream-esque. Oh no. Almost survived by the skin of my skin. Oh, I love this shit. Oh, yeah. Good, good, good. This is just fun. This part isn't even hard. It's just fun. Oh shit. Checkpoint. Oh, we're timed. Oh god. Just noticed that. We're like we're like countdown time. Worth it. Unless it doesn't count. We'll see. Oh no, wait, does the countdown not like reset or anything? Oh no. This is rough. I think it counts. Cool. Shit, shit. Come on. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's great! That's awesome. That was a good stage. Oh, where's my face? Yeah, I, I'm I'm loving these bonus stages. Hey, 420 viewers, nice. Please don't spam nice in chat, but just letting y'all know, it's nice. All right, so I'm gonna jumpy, 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 Ruth. Oh, I still can't pick up. Ah! Still can't pick up this shit. 
Ain't to uh, do something with Mindy or whatever. Just go this way then. Oh, is this the end of the level? Hey, look at that. And that is how SpongeBob and Patrick escaped the <laughs> Yeah, so this is how they convey the story. Meanwhile, Dennis continues to follow our heroes. Some unsavory types attempt to get in his way, but he manages to reason with them. And so, like two tin cans in a trash compactor, SpongeBob and Patrick continue on, blissfully unaware of the danger closing in on them. Standing in their way is a field full of stanky garbage, but with Shell City somewhere on the other side, they have no choice but to push on. Shell City, dead ahead. Nice. I'm excited. So, uh, unrelated. Normally, I'm I'm not a big fan of those like pre-packaged, like pre-bottled Starbucks drinks. Like, I, I it's not like I don't like them. Plankton I just you know they're not. To brainwash unsuspecting ocean they're creatures. not better than like you the real thing. IMO. But for whatever reason, today I'm having myself. One of the one of those bottled frappuccinos, uh, the coffee flavor kind, and it Ash, is just. If you want to destroy hitting. those TVs, you'll need to learn to pick up and throw objects. You need more Goofy Goober tokens before I can teach you. Can I give you these? Okay, so she's gonna teach us a. Uh, oh, we need two more. Two more Goober tokens. So how about? Still can't do up Chocolate Creek, I believe. I mean, let's check. Let's check. <laughs> I think this might be a case where I have to still learn how to throw something. Yeah. Okay, this isn't it. This ain't the one. What is challenge not available? I can't, I can't work there. No. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna navigate the level for that. I only need two more. So how about I? What is this? I'll say, yeah, I'm ready. Depression is a, is a direct quote from the movie. <laughs> so it makes sense. It was, uh, it was after SpongeBob was, was told he couldn't be a manager because he was too much of a kid. Y'all, if you haven't seen the SpongeBob movie, what are you doing? Go watch it. It's so good. It's like actually one of my favorite movies, just in general. Where the fuck is this? Okay, what is this called? This is Patrick get Oh, I need to be Patrick for this. Okay, where's the switcherooski? There's one. Sponge Out of Water feel like two different movies slapped together. Uh, yeah, so there are multiple reasons why Sponge Out of Water is, like, weirder than the first SpongeBob movie. Uh, it feels a little bit more disjointed. One is just the way the movie is structured is, um, 
very much just like a long, granted a good, but just, you know, it's a good episode of the show, essentially. It's just a really good, really long episode of the, of the show with the show's pacing and with, uh, uh, you know, the show's sense of, like, scale. Um, whereas the first SpongeBob movie is very cinematic. Um, it, you know, it's, it's, it's a SpongeBob movie, so, you know, it's got, the, it's got the comedic sensibility, it's got the wackiness, it's got the jokes and all that, but it has a, it has a very cinematic pacing. Um, it is extremely, uh, it is extremely well-rounded in terms of its sense of, uh, sense of scope and sense of, like, story scale, because it's, you know, meant to be, it's, it's not meant to be a long episode, it's meant to be a film adaptation of the show, uh, and, like, it, ultimately it was designed to be a, Jesus Christ, it was designed to be a finale. Um, so there's that, but then there's also the fact that... Sponge Out of Water had two different directors. Um, there was a... There was, uh, Paul Tibbet, who directed the animated portions, and then I forget the name of the guy who directed the live-action portions, but, um... If I remember correctly, uh, it was, it was someone who was, uh, very familiar with the realm of, like, live-action CGI adaptations of things. Uh, and so all of the live-action portions had a different director. Um, so, you know, that in and of itself causes the live-action portions to feel disjointed. And that's not even, that's not even mentioning the inherent disjoint, disjointedness of the live-action portions just conceptually. Um, so yeah, the, it, the sponge, out of, sponge Out of Water feels like it has a lot of, like, movements. Uh, it doesn't really feel like a cohesive film. And I don't think that's necessarily bad. I, I genuinely don't think that that's, like, an inherently bad thing. That's just kind of what it is. Um, but I do prefer the first movie because it's, uh... I don't know, it's just it's just got a, a better sense of scope. It 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 knew what it wanted to be uh more in the sense that like it knew it needed to try to close out the series because it was an originally intended to be a finale. Um so it had a lot of room to like you guys took a while actually progress the characters. The also, fuck you, Mindy. I like to stop and smell the anemones. And old tires. Well, try sliding quickly instead. If you make it under the allotted time, you'll earn a reward. What do you think of Sponge on the Run so far? Um, I'm cautiously optimistic. I think, I think I, I, I am expecting it to be a fun movie. However, um, I don't know exactly how I feel about its merits as like a as like a necessary story to tell I'm not saying any of Spongebob's stories are necessary to tell but like Sponge on the Run um it's you know there there was there was this whole there was talks of of them making a third Spongebob movie after Sponge Out of Water did really well and there were these like leaked storyboards for the movie that were, like, really interesting. They involved, like, fucking space cats and stuff. And, like, it was it was really interesting. Uh, it seemed like a fun movie. Uh, seemed like a fun, creative movie. Um, but then, you know, they... Uh, like, a few, few years later, they come out with all this information about the new movie. And, like, it's just another Find Gary story, which has already been done in the show. It's like one of the most famous episodes is is Where's Gary? Or uh, Have You Seen the Snail? Um, so that's weird that they're just doing the same plot again, but for a movie. Um, and also, they kind of turned the idea of a third movie into a backdoor pilot for Camp Coral, uh, which conceptually, just, just from the get-go, I don't agree with because... Steven Hillenburg didn't agree with it. Um, and I think there needs to be that respect. Like, if they are going to milk Steven Hillenburg's property to this degree, like, at least have some respect for the idea that, like, this shit wouldn't even exist without that guy. So, like, if he doesn't want something to happen, don't make it happen, you know? That's how I feel about it, anyway. 
So I, I, I do not think it'll be a bad movie. It, I, I have a few good chuckles when watching the trailer. I'm excited to see it. I, I am. Um, but there, there's like a few iffy things with it that I wish they would have done differently, uh, or like kept doing instead of going this new kind of backdoor pilot direction. Um, I also have a little bit of a gripe about the animation. Uh, I think, I think the movie looks gorgeous. I really do. I think the current animation style is great, but um, I'm kind of, I, I don't know exactly how I feel about this new trend of like making 3D animation look like 2D animation instead of just making hand-drawn animation to begin with, you know, and like improving that craft. <clears throat> but that's a whole other conversation. Time trial time. I, I, and, and that's not, not to say I have a problem with, uh, with CG animation. Um, I think these movies, like, look gorgeous. I really do. I, it's, it's not that I have a problem in and of itself. I just, I don't, I, I just think that they need to be treated as, like, different mediums for different uses, rather than, like, an inherent upgrade to one or the other, you know? Like, I don't, I don't think that stylized 3D animation should be thought of as a replacement for hand-drawn animation. I think that they should work together. I think that there needs to be spaces for both. Well, 2D animation is only box office suicide because, like, no one with the actual, like, backing and like clout to like really make it work is like putting anything behind it anymore like disney gave up gave up on it so long ago and then once disney gave up on it people were like well i guess this isn't viable anymore and then that idea entered the public consciousness that's the same reason i have an issue with like these live action remakes is because like the moment a studio with like clout and like with the public eye on them to such a degree as Disney has starts making decisions like these, the mindset behind those decisions enters the public consciousness as fact and as 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 rigidness, you know? Like the like there is now it is now going to be so much harder to you know, entertain the idea that animation is not strictly for kids if they keep remaking these animated movies in live action with like with like unnecessarily darker and like more moody themes just to appeal to more adults and shit like that's it's 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 completely unnecessary but like but yeah but like that but like a studio that has the general public respect is feeding into that mindset so like, what what is anyone who does not have that scope of uh, of reach gonna do about it? You know, that's all I'm saying. I feel like. As far as time trials go, I am not at my best right now. <laughs> Shit. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, I'm gonna, uh... Try this again. Just from the beginning. Have a limited amount of time. Oh my god. Mindy just said it is inevitable that I will die. <laughs> you have a limited amount of time. Mindy, what are you gonna do? Mindy? Watch your back. Mindy?
Now I'm wondering how the fuck do I get on that route up there? Because there's a treasure up there and it seems like it might be a little bit of a shortcut. Save a second or two on my PB. SpongeBob? You good? I'm worried about this kid. He said it. Fuck! <laughs> Give me Borbaker! Thank you. He's not a kid, he's a man, they just sang a song about it. Listen, you may not know this, but I have a little bit of a premonition of the future story character development side of this film. And there is a moment in the film where after the whole journey, he eventually accepts that he is not a man. It is okay that he is a kid. He is simply a goofy goober. Rock. Also, wait, is Marble here? Hi, Marble! How'd you sleep, baby? <laughs> I've got a real challenge for you two. <laughs> okay, Scarlett Johansson, what you what you got? Three-legged race? Spelling shuffleboard backwards? No, <laughs> rings will appear along the Oh, slot. it's a fucking ring challenge. Here we go. Let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead and do it because I have a feeling we're gonna... If, if we don't, like, stockpile on some goober tokens, we might need to backtrack more, and I want to avoid that as much as possible. I mean, I guess ultimately this will all probably add up to, like, the same amount of time anyway, at least generally. But, you know... Jesus Christ, they're, like, starting to disappear really soon. Feels like I can barely get there. Oh! I see. Ah! The hand is extremely good. I I cannot wait to do a, a fucking uh, let's play of Battle for Bikini Bottom. I'm I'm hoping to I'm hoping Chase will be down for that one. We talked about it the other night when we were deciding um, cause we're uh, cause we're gonna be converting Luigi's Mansion 3 into a stream series, um, rather than pre-recorded. So we're gonna be doing another game as a pre-recorded let's play instead. Uh, and I brought up the idea of battle, and he seemed generally pretty down for it, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna ask him pretty soon if he's still interested in making that happen. Because I'll either... I'll either do the original game pretty soon, or I'll wait until Rehydrated comes out and do that one. Um, and just kind of see what's up. Shit. 
Oh, good lord. Th these rings are sending me every which way. Um, I don't- I don't know if I prefer battle or movie game over each other. They're kind of- I mean, they have the same framework, but they- they kind of serve different purposes. I think- I think battle is obviously, uh, a more well-rounded game in the sense that it was designed from the ground up to be exactly what it was. Um, so, you know, that did- got points in my favor for that. But, like, this is really good. Like, a sp like especially for a tie-in game. Like, a, like a movie tie-in. Um, they did a really good job with, like, the... With, like, time limitations and budget limitations and all that. This is, like, a really fucking solid game. Um, I, I think they, they did... They did good on themselves by, uh, making the game more linear. And, uh... You know, encouraging, like, exploration and backtracking and stuff through level progression. Which which can definitely be a little annoying, but, like, I think it works out generally. I, I have not felt... I have not felt that the game is too intrusive about progression locking. Um, but that's just me. Like, I, it, I haven't minded. I can see how other people would be annoyed by it, but I haven't minded personally. Um... But yeah, I mean, but the, 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 the linear progression allowed them to make this game a lot more polished than it has really any right to be. Also, goddamn, really, from the beginning, huh? Okay. But yeah, I, I like this game a lot. It's good. Um, <laughs> whenever, it's, whenever he screams like that, I just, I, again, I worry about this kid. He needs a nap. You know what SpongeBob needs? Paid time off. No, 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 no. Oh, I can't even turn around. I can't even turn around in this one. Listen, I, I, I know he, I know he would protest to, to paid time off, but he needs it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Like, here, like, here's the thing. I... I protest a lot to the idea of, like, taking breaks from streaming. But fucking, you know, sometimes I need it. For certain. I like streaming a lot. I like doing this job. But damn. Can't do it all the time.
There we go. Oh, shit. God, these rings are just... Throwing me for loops. We did it. We did it. Ha <laughs> ha! We're great! We're the best! Great sliding. Here's your reward. Also, earlier, Dylan Cranker donated a five dollars. It came to the stream for Spongy Boy, but instead got some PP points in Starbucks. <laughs> Thank you for continuing to make content and brightens my day on these tough times. Thank you so much. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Rad. Okay. How fast do you two think you can? Slow Shut up. Um, I'm not gonna do any more of this. I'm gonna. Time for progression. Okay. It's time to learn. Patrick, you've collected enough Goofy Goober tokens. <laughs> God. God. Scarlet. Now with improved targeting. Uh, R1. Recruit okay, crate. Plankton's using those TVs to try and trick people to come to Bikini Bottom. If they go, they'll become slaves in his army. If only there was something I could do. You have to destroy the TVs. Who knows how many people Plankton will enslave if we don't? Never fear, Mindy. I'm an expert at knocking stuff down. This is true. I remember this in the TV show. That wasn't so tough. Oh, it's, oh, these are... Oh, God. I like the... I, I like the basic move controls a lot better in this game, I will say. One one thing this game has over battle is definitely the the improvements on like the core combat and like ability mechanics. Remnant of Dust, thank you so much for the ten dollar donation. Feel the hating taking time off thing, especially working on something like YouTube or a webcomic. I do both where you can get stressed about not updating quick enough. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Sponge. <laughs> no! Ah! 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 Macho stuff. Damn. These guys are difficult. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. This looks like a job for traveling a little bit. Wait. We just saw a rocket. Rockets explode! Oh, it's a big toilet for butts and stuff. It's kind of Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Good. My new TV was bad for you, but I didn't know it was this bad. Oh, 
Damn. Oh, by the way, I should spend... Oh, God, I need more health for Patrick. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Help. I never can get enough of these. Help! Help! Shit. Oh god. Oh, that's fun. Mia. <laughs> Scary, frightening. No! Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, man. Feels like it increases in momentum when it's far away enough. That feels like a trick speedrunners probably use. I've never actually seen a speedrun of this game. I've seen I've seen battle speedruns, but not not speedruns for this one. Shit. Damn it. Oh yeah, that's definitely a speedrun tactic. Well, not not what I'm doing specifically, but like the momentum of the the tongue. Hey. Yeah, of course this game is older than Sonic 06. It's the PS2. Why is that surprising? <laughs> Oh, damn. God. <laughs> uh, Redmond Dust donated another $10. Said, have you ever thought about doing a tabletop RPG like D&D or Cyberpunk Red on stream with friends? 
I uh, used to have a D&D podcast. I have definitely thought about picking it up slipping, again. Slipping, I slipping. would love to do more D&D stuff. Uh, the problem is it takes a lot of stamina. Uh, it takes a lot of uh, performance stamina. It takes a lot of uh, preparation that I just have not had the time for in a very long time um, or the energy. Uh, so I am not promising anything, um, like even remotely. Uh, in fact, I would say it is more likely that it will not happen, but uh, it's something I, I definitely think about every so often. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Well, that's one way to do it. Both, both as a DM and as a player, it uh, it is, it is taken, taken the the wind out of my sails as from from both sides of the coin. J damn it! Uh, the name of the old D and D podcast is Spagoots Realms, but it's uh, a little bit hard for me to recommend you listen to because it is, um, I'll just say outdated, in quite a few ways. Uh, so this is me saying that it is, I mean, like, I had a great time with it, and it's, like, good memories, and I really appreciate the time I had with it at the time, but it, it's not, I, I mean, it's not something I necessarily recommend you go back and listen to. Mostly just for fucking comfort reasons. Uh, Dina donated five dollars and, and nineteen cents. So watching you play this game is like watching a hypnotist unlock memories of an alien abduction, except it's memories of owning and playing this game. <laughs> That's fair. What is happening? Oh my god! I just, you know what? MLG strats. Fuck. Thank you so much for the donation. God, I want a Borbger. Honestly, sma just smashing the TVs in is so fun. Uh, Dave at 1997 donated $10. Said, hi, Penny. I love your content here and on YouTube. I hope your day is going well. I wish you good luck and remember Goofy Goober's rule. Thank you. I hope your day is going well, too. I really appreciate that. Shit. And also, hey, this is pretty much the only thing I've done today, so as long as this is going well, my day is going well. Oh, damn, that... <laughs> that... that count up. Spongebob! I always imagine a Krabby Patty just to be like a really good burger. I mean, like they they establish there's like a secret recipe, like there's obviously a secret formula, but like I mean, just think of any bomb ass burger you've had, and it's probably a good equivalent. Krabby Patty is just five guys. Honestly, though, 
That's probably a a good uh Yeah, that's probably a good equivalent. Oh, you know what? There was actually there was one there was one place that I that I had. There was one burger I had when I was with Marble. I forgot the name of the place. But it was like so fucking good. It was like dangerously good. Uh if Marble is still in chat, she probably could remind me what the name of the place was. But that that's like the closest thing I've ever had to like the experience of like the the legend of the Krabby Patty, you know? It was just like fucking. It was great. It was just like this 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 little place in one of the food courts we went to, and it was just like, damn, this is just like some some good shit. Use it to my advantage. Even in the corners. Didn't use that to my advantage. Oh, damn. Oh, God. Oh. No. Ah! I'm doing it again. Ah! Man, if I had just been a little bit more patient, I could have nailed that. I, I got so in the mindset of just, like, brute forcing my way through it. I also appreciate this game for making entire levels out of uh, what is inarguably one of the best parts of Battle for Bikini Bottom, and that is the Spongebob mechanic. Damn it. Spongebob Square Champ. <laughs> How does Square become rat? He's a sponge! He squishes! He's absorbent and, like, pliable. Damn it. He's not just, like, a fucking wooden block. So close.
Yeah, Sonic wishes he could have this momentum-driven gameplay. Right in the- just right in the crevice. Damn it. I'm- I'm not doing myself any favors in terms of, like, actually beating this game before I have to go. I'm just so- I'm just so obsessed with making this, like, a clutch run, you know? I can't just, like, go through it. Yeah, Peach, uh, I am, uh, I'm gonna be, uh, streaming with Blue tonight, actually, um, after I'm done here. Uh, Blue's gonna be playing through Resident Evil 3 for the first time, and, uh, I will be, uh, joining her on, on her stream. But I still wanted to fit in a stream today, because I was like, damn, I like streaming. Whoa, that- that fall felt like it took a lot longer. A rolling sponge gathers no barnacles. Whoa. Voice line. Part of me is now wanting to get this over with. So if I don't if I don't get it clutch on this go around, then I'll just do it normally. <laughs> yeah, Thread Threadweaver, this game is awesome. This is I mean this isn't even like a normal level. This is just a bonus part. This game rolls though, it's really good. No, no, no! Okay, alright. I'm gonna take it slower. Yeah, well, th this game is as good as it is because uh, the studio behind this had already made Battle for Bikini Bottom, like, right before. So they just used, like, the basic framework of, like, a really good game and just kind of, like, lessened the scope a little bit so that it would be able to fit the production time. Oh my god, there's no way I should have survived that. Huh. Weird. <clears throat> yeah, first try. We got it. Also, damn, we're so close to our donation goal. What the hell? 
Uh, Dina donated eight dollars and ninety two cents. Said donated more to Marble's twenty four hour stream because I liked hearing her say my chosen name out loud for once. Now I'm doing the same here. Trans rights. Thank you so much. Uh, Yuri Leclerc donated thirty dollars. Said third time's the charm. Maybe Streamlabs will finally send this one through. Love you and your content. You always give me something to look forward to every day and never fail to make me smile. Thank you. Holy shit. That is so generous of you. I really appreciate that. Uh, Elvin Code donated five dollars. Said I just wanted to say thank you for giving me something fun and light to watch. Anxiety's been high because of everything, and watching your streams has really helped calm me. Well, hey, I'm I'm happy to help in whatever small way I can. I really appreciate the donation. Thank you, thank you. I wonder what's this all about. Oh, there's, there's three of them here. Maybe it's like a stacking situation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I was gonna say I shouldn't have gone ahead and like defeated those guys right off the bat because there's this fucker to take care of. This stage is very Psychonauts-esque. I agree. It's got the vibes. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> it never gets old. Try me. Oh, you tried me. Try me. <laughs> you succeeded. <laughs> Try me again. There we go. Damn it. There we go. Uh. I'm gonna go for it. Bound 
You know what? Not to, like, extend my playtime and, like, necessary stream series length of this game far past what it should be. Part of me wants to 100% this. <laughs> or at least, like, get all the tokens. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Have a nice trip. Stop throwing things at me. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't realize. I didn't realize. Oh, God. I don't know. Jumping, jumper, jumper, roo! Shit. Oh, come on! No! That was, that was some garbage. The goo should not be rising the entire time. Are you kidding me? SpongeBob games have you played aside from this in battle? Um, I mean, I played a lot as a kid. Uh, I played Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. I played Light Camera Pants. I played a little bit, I want to say, of um, ah, fucking what's it called? Uh, Creature from the Krusty Krab. Back when that first came out. Um, I played. Ooh, I. Ooh, this will be. This will be. This will be a throwback for some. I played uh, SpongeBob's 3D Obstacle Odyssey. Uh, Obstacle Odyssey 2 specifically, primarily. Um, but I think I dabbled in playing one. Oh, Jesus Christ. I forgot I can't do a mid-air spin. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Let's do it. Okay, cool. We got it. I would love to play Lights, Camera, Pants. Oh, God. <laughs> He's just drowning. <laughs> I'd love to play Lights, Camera, Pants again. With like some actual friends, because I never, I mean, I never played it with anybody. I don't have any friends that played it with me. I just kind of did the AI <laughs> all the time. Which, in retrospect, makes me really sad. The Nicktoons PS2 games? Oh, yeah, yeah, I played Nicktoons Unite for sure. That was one I was into just because of the concept, which I'm sure some of you can relate to. Oh, 
Also, yo, uh, so normally I don't I don't call out uh, donations under five dollars because it's a uh, you know it's a it's uh, it's part of the alert thing. But because this one got us to our donation goal, I'll go ahead and say Food Face Terror donated four dollars and sixty eight cents. Said, did you know five dollars American is six dollars and sixty eight cents dollars Canadian? Also, good to see SpongeBob games getting played again. Love Battle for Bikini Bottom. Thank you so much. Uh, and hey, that's our that's our first goal. Um, things have been kind of slow today, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna raise the goal again. Uh, obviously, if y'all want to go past the goal today, uh, y'all are more than welcome and encouraged to do so. Uh, obviously, it helps me out a lot. Uh, so, you know, do do what you will. Uh, I'm not gonna raise it again, though. I just, you know, it, it's it's a bit of an outlier stream, so. Oh, should I? Yeah, I should. <laughs> well, should is, uh, maybe not the best term. Like oh god, it's ice, ice blocks. Oh, this is horrid. I love it. What the hell is this about? That was fun. <laughs> I like those levels. Now, why did that checkpoint not work? That's interesting. <clears throat> Okay, I'll just go ahead and uh, see if I can't take care of these guys. Send me another! Send me another, Robot Factory! You're laughing, did you know good, sir? Send me another, Robot Factory! Send me another robot fa- thank you! Wait! I'm sorry! I'm just doing my job! Wait, what? What the fuck? Now, hold on. Wow. 
Optimus has landed. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy! <laughs> your hubris would be your downfall, fuckers. Oh shit. Oh no, I don't have any things to take care of that guy. Hold on. Can I, uh... Hmm. I'm gonna fuck myself over. Well, I could always risk it. Let's see. Risk it for the brisket? No, there's no way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's, that's inevitable. I was doing so well that go around. Okay, so these guys first, for sure. Pop in the head, freeze a bird. Watch out for Ch Patrick. Damn it. supposed to work. I guess I just really need to do it in one go, huh? Alright. Alright. 
There we go. Bitch! There we go. That 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 did. I swear I thought that said name's penis for a second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not on purpose. Hello, boys. The name's penis. Who the are name's you? penis. <laughs> Your worst nightmare. A big pile of broccoli? Name's Dennis. <laughs> I was hiding. I don't know why that got you. me. Look, buddy. I hate to burst your bubble, but you're talking to two men here. We don't have time for these silly games. So if you could just step aside. The music does not fit <laughs> at all. Don't worry, buddy. I'll save you. Oh, damn. Ouch. Ah! Oh shit. Okay. Ah! Oh, come on. Fuck you. Fuck you, Penis. <laughs> Enough of this dude. <laughs> Me pointing at a painting of Dennis on the wall. But specifically SpongeBob video game Dennis, not Dennis from the movie. The Whopper Melons. There's one. They said we were just taking a break. Jesus. Ouch. <laughs> oh my god!
Y'all, please, no back seating. I got you right where I want you. That's a big boot. Don't worry. This will only hurt a lot. <laughs> I love this job. Bigger boot. Wait, Dad. This bigger boot saved our lives. Yay! Thank, Thank you, stranger. stranger. It's the Cyclops! Run! Thank <laughs> God. SpongeBob and Patrick escaped the clutches of the mad villain. Uh, only to be captured by the even more hideous Yeah, Peach, Cyclops. no, literally, I, I said this last stream, but they they're literally just reciting lines from the movie, goober but in a worse oh. line oh. delivery. Hey, That's definitely the... Goober. Why are they using, like... Patrick, there's the goofy goober they're himself. using the SpongeBob oh. stock oh. images for As this. I was saying... SpongeBob and Patrick continued on, allowing nothing to distract them. It's just a dream. Don't waste your time. Uh, go ahead. What the fuck? Huh? Okay. Dream level. Yeah, I will say, uh, in, in terms of things that were sacrificed for the sake of this being a movie tie-in, definitely the story, uh, the, the, the story conveyance. What the shit? I don't remember this at all. I, I know this isn't in the movie, but I mean, like, I don't remember this from when I played this game back in the day. Guys. Goofy Goober knows the way out of the amusement park. What Follow the? Goofy Goober ah! and don't lose him. Don't worry, Mindy. There is no this chance is of him getting away from us. Yep, we won't let him out of our sight. If he gets too far away from you, you'll have to start again. <laughs> if he gets too far away from you, you'll have to use ranged attacks. Here's a gun. Whoa. I've never used a gun before. Well, there's no better time to start. Yeah. I I sacrificed some fucking some lead. I didn't even do that as good as I could have. I'm just I can't I can't do the laugh when I'm also playing the game because it it is it is a physical thing that you have to do to do the laugh. Tom Kenny does it also. Run him over. <laughs> Just tail in this fucker. No. God. Enough of this, dude. <laughs> God, I I'm sick of looking at this bitch's rear end. It's fucking nut. Get over here. Oh, 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 I'll escape in time. Oh, Jesus Christ! 
SpongeBob, it's me! It's me, Goofy Goober! Come on, you know me! You know me! You wouldn't turn me into the. You wouldn't turn me into the narcs, would you? Get back here, you goober! For it, SpongeBob! Oh! Patrick! Oh! Avenge me! Wait, was that actually better? This goober fucker is like... He's too good! The rubber banding in this game is wild! Oh, god damn it. No, 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 no! No! No, this one did worse! This one is worse for me! That was horrendous. You know what, I'll just get this while I'm at it. I'm gonna lose anyway. Imagine being Goofy Goober. This post made by the SpongeBob and Patrick Gang. Like, I can't, I can't go past this dude. I cannot surf, surpass him. At least the treasure still counts. Yeah, there's no like drift button or anything. It's legit just like It's it's just built in to the turning.
Oh shit. I swear it feels like he always speeds up at just like the exact same time I do. like a SpongeBob are you allergic to ice cream like have you just been <laughs> slowly killing yourself this whole time that's not so good all right I'm not going on the water path this time that, that fucked me up so much. Damn it. What? Oh my god. Okay. I guess I'll go on the water path next time. Okay. I'm starting to think... Maybe I am just supposed to tail him like this. Because I swear, it's like every time I get even remotely close to passing him, he speeds up at the exact same time I do and, like, just keeps the same distance. There's, there's like a minimum distance I am always tailing behind him at.
No, no, no. No. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> that was really close. Waterville. Patrick and SpongeBob, here's your reward. She said my name first. Okay. Sure. <laughs> she, the pausing gets me. When SpongeBob and Patrick awaken from their sweet dreams of ice cream sundaes and dancing peanuts, they discover that they have become prisoners of the Cyclops. For you see, gentle viewers, our heroes had at long last made it to Shell City and had discovered its Oh, awesome I, re I remember the Shell, Shell City, City level. Shell City was nothing more than a souvenir shop. Those who were captured were dried up and turned into smelly knickknacks. And that is precisely what was happening to our two friends. The situation seemed to be completely and utterly hopeless. But they were saved by the tear of the goofy goo bill, as well as a conveniently placed God, sprinkler just system. <laughs> real, <laughs> real good job conveying the emotion of the scene. The treacherous depths of also, why is this part like, I guess, adversary, I guess the they had to make this part before the actual like film was finished, because this is all like concept art, it looks like. God, yeah, I remember this shit. Oh, man. The fact that I remember this part so vividly makes me worried because that maybe is a sign that it was Good really hard. Job getting the crown. Are you kidding? That was easy. Yeah, we are the manliest of men. Then what about the hopelessness? Hopelessness? The weeping? Lady, you must have been watching over someone else. Never mind. <laughs> There's no time to waste. Damn. Find a way out of here, get past the Cyclops, and back to the Krusty Krab too. I didn't do that. Oh, oh, oh. oh hello, sir. Whoa. Oh, wait, I think I get the setup here. This isn't a, like a straight yeah, yeah, shot to yeah. the end. This is like a, uh... I gotta like work my way around the paths, I think, just to turn the faucets.
I love the this little sea creatures like waving at me and shit. That's fun. Yo, wait. This might be it. Nice. Look at that. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Saved. I want to get that treasure. Ah, uh, you know what? Better bet probably would have been... Here, let me, let me redo that. Oh, this is fun. This is a fun level layout. It's like... I, I love the... I love the... The... Sense of intricacy here. Like, you have to, you have to know the right path. an easy place to not die, too. Oh, there's multiple sections like this. That's fun. This is cool. I really like this, actually. say, uh, I'm not enjoying the frame drops in this level. There are... Uh, it's, it's, it's slugging quite a bit. I think this, this one is definitely a bit ambitiously done for the PlayStation 2. <laughs> Hey, uh, that was fun. 
You left a trail of debris in your wake, but you did make it, so here's your reward. Oh, boy! <laughs> <laughs> So, after escaping the hideous fate that awaited them in the clutches of the Cyclops, SpongeBob and Patrick find themselves standing on the beach, staring out at the vastness of the ocean. How are we gonna get back to Bikini Bottom? I can take you there. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I'm not a lifeguard, but I play oh! on TV. Oh! So, oh! Where's your boat? Boat? <laughs> This Nothing is just concept now. art. Bikini bottom, here we come. You got to kick that man's butt. Holy shit. That oil painting Hasselhoff really, really caught me off guard. Huh? Oh, oh, ew! Off the hind oh, no, I didn't realize Make when I started look, playing the SpongeBob how? movie game that... Did you miss me? I didn't realize the implied reality that there would be a level that takes place on a man's hairy back. Oh, ew! <laughs> okay, okay. Grossness aside, this is so good. Like, actually, I love this. Can I wear the crown for a while? No back seating, Patrick. Damn. All right, hold on. Hold on, dude. I need to navigate to your. Dude. This is so funny. Damn. I will say the music mixing here is a little, a little disappointing. Gross, dude. Don't don't talk about sweat when I'm crawling all over your back. How about it? Shit. Where did you get where did you get these mini arm burgers though? I might have to might have to borrow your technique. Be careful of your toe around my Around your what? Whoa! No! Oh man! Yeah. <laughs> 
Good tip. Good tip, concept art, David. in quality from having actual stills from the movie to the to just having to go by concept art oh my god i thought before it was bad whitmer donated 15 dollars and said what do you do when david has left the denies your studio the right to his name and likeness find an oil painter in fast it is a much much different place from the one they left where there once was rolling green fields and bustling city streets there is now Planktopolis, a city as dark and twisted as the heart of its teeny tiny ruler. All of Bikini Bottom's familiar faces are now covered by Oh man, this is so sad because otherwise this game is great. Most horrible of all, King Neptune is at the Krusty Krab too, preparing to fry Mr. Krabs. Bikini this game Bottom's is great in like every aspect other than the story conveyance and, and like the pacing. Star. Can they survive the dangers of Planktopolis? Ooh, let us hope so. <laughs> All right, this should be the last uh, platforming level. We're making good time. And we're having a good time. Yeah. Plankton's bucket heads are being controlled by those statues. If we destroy them, we can break his control over them. I'm sorry, SpongeBob. You don't have enough Goofy Goomba God tokens damn. for me to give you the sonic weight. Okay. Uh. Wait, how many do I need? Fuck, I, I forgot she actually tells me how much I need. Wait, oh no, god. You need more goofy goober tokens. 40? It's too I need 40 more. I need 5 more. Oh my god. Look at this Patrick. All right, this, this should be fine, this should be fine, this should be fine. But... Whoa, whoa! Didn't even give me a chance. <laughs> it said go, bitch. David Concept Art donated $5 that I'm not a lifeguard, but I play one on TV. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, oh god, oh that sucks. That's rough.
Come on. There we go. Oh, that was a close one. Oh, yeah? That was sliding. That counted as sliding. You think that counted as... I, I think it had the basic qualities of sliding. Oh. All right. We do another driving one. Oh, we can do another uh, sliding one also. Oh, no, 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 hold on. This one should be really easy. I'm sorry, SpongeBob, but you don't have enough memory in the memory card. Starfish? Of course. Okay, this actually isn't too bad. As long as we have a couple of these easy, easy ones remaining, this isn't this isn't too bad. Oh, same place. <laughs> well, if you look at that. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see Colt. do real quickly. I'm wondering what the fuck that's about. It's Not really wrote this stuff keen down. to try it if I'm gonna have... This one probably needs the, uh, the, the sonic wave that I'm about to get. So... Oh no. That was pretty bad. Time challenge... Oh, you know what? The time challenge would probably be hard with all the, like, circling around you have to do. Let's do... Let's do rock slide. Th this one should be pretty straightforward. Want another Goofy Goober token? Sorry, we don't have any to spare. Patrick, she meant, do we want another token? <laughs> right. Get to the bottom of the slide as quickly as you can. If you beat the time, I'll reward you. That's... that's funny. That got a nice chore to let of me. Yo, ah, 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 what's wrong with me? Ah, who am I? What am I doing? Oh no, it keeps your time and everything. Hold on. 
<laughs> no, it doesn't, bitch. You have a limited. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Don't scare me like that, Scarlet. I need to stop playing that dangerously. I can have a little of danger as a treat, but not to that extent. I could have taken that shortcut. <laughs> I think, um, I think we just had a top 10 Patrick pisses himself moments. But I, I think, I think the punchline of that joke was drowned out by the audio mixing. This feels extremely close. 
This level, this one is so long. This one is long and like the amount of paths are like insane. Oh no, oh no. Only a checkpoint? Come on. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Come on. Oh my god, we did it. We almost had... That was fast. Another, Here's like, extremely clutch one second left moment. Jesus. Oh my god. <sighs> Yo, uh, the Ninja Fortnite donated five to to the Shut up. Ninja Fortnite donated five dollars. So the phrase, it's just, uh, it's just freaking part cheesy, Ninja, you big baby, is such a weak mindset. You're okay with what happened, losing imperfection of a craft when you stop getting angry after you losing, you've lost- Yeah, there it is. Thank you so much. Also, okay, one more. So I'm gonna do this ring challenge, and then that'll that'll be it. God, when they start blinking out like that, I'm extremely nervous. How was that for you? The positional audio actually just helped clue me into where that was. Editor, thank you so much for the $25 donation. I'll read the message as soon as I'm not in this, but like, thank you so much. That is so generous. was a close one. No. Oh! No! What? Oh, no way. No way. That wasn't even my fault. The momentum just died for no reason. Did y'all see that? I like landed fine. They just slowed down like crazy. All right, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Anger is gone. Fleeting, fleeting anger is gone. We're good. We'll get this. Again, I, I don't I don't I don't get why that that is like that that sucks. That really sucks. It's completely slow your momentum when landing like that. And the problem is I don't know how to stop that.
welcome streams of sweet dreams that settle over me. I realized I was going to take too long to get to the part of that song that actually makes sense with when I started singing it, so I'm just going to stop there. I would, I would keep going if it wouldn't juxtapose with the music too badly. Medic. Top 10 SpongeBob TF2 moments. Oh my god, that, my heart just dropped 20 feet. $25 said, been watching you since the Adventure 2 dub came out, and since then you provided me with countless hours of entertainment, so I felt it was time to give back, uh, to give a bit back. Could I, I ask what you used to get such good image quality from your PS2? Thank you so much! Uh, I really appreciate that. That is such a generous donation. Uh, in terms of what I use to capture PS2, I've actually changed my method recently. Um, so, I use a, uh, I use a, I use a pound brand Sorry, I had to look at it. I use a pound brand PS2 to HDMI converter. Um, it uh, it runs off of USB power, so I have uh, like a mini USB cable plugged in from the PS2 itself. Because did you know the PS2 has USB slots in it? I have owned a PS2 for like a majority of my life, and I never knew that until recently. Um, uh, I didn't even notice. It just like it's been there at the front of the console this whole time, but I never like took note of it. Um, anyway, so, uh, it runs off of USB power, it plugs into the video port, uh, the video out port on the back of the PS2, and then there's an HDMI slot on the other side of the device. Um, then I, I just, then I just have that hooked up to my regular, uh, Elgato, uh, HD60 Pro setup. Um, which I might actually be upgrading to the HD60 S Plus, uh, so that I can do, uh, 4K console stuff on my TV without having to get a 4K 60 Pro for 4K recording, because I'm not going to stream in 4K, but I'd like to I'd like to play games in 4K whenever possible, whenever the console allows it, so um, I'm, I'm probably getting one of those soon. But, uh, yeah, uh, the, the fucking, the, the pound PS2 to HDMI converter, uh, big recommend. It is the, I have tried, like, I want to say, like, God, like five different ways of uh, of recording 
like PS2 footage, and this is by far the best I have ever gotten out of it. Um, it keeps the same aspect ratio. It is uh, very good quality. Uh, it upscales really well, um, and uh, it doesn't like fuck up the sound or anything. It's not too. It doesn't show too many like uh, like inner interlacing lines on the screen or whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, b uh, I, I recommend the pound cable. Uh, I avoided the pound cable before because I'd heard mixed things about it, but hey, that's actually amazing. Yeah, so it's definitely, it's not the highest quality you are ever going to get from PS2 capture. Uh, there are, uh, there are other ways to capture PS2 footage that are gonna net you higher quality, but the thing is, they are either, like, extremely, like, expensive or extremely inaccessible or, like, really unreliable depending on what other, uh, hardware you're using. Um, so when it comes to, like, quality versus convenience like when you when you tip the scales either which way quality versus convenience uh the pound the pound converter uh by far has the best convenience to quality balance i have ever gotten out of any of these methods so if you just want something that is extremely extremely good and acceptable for what it is and very easy to use and set up Big recommend the pound PS2 to HDMI converter. I'm so happy I invested in it. Uh, it's 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 made capturing PS2 stuff so much easier and like so much more viable for me. Cause like y'all, when I like the Neopets, the Darkest Fairy series on Snapcube, when I tell you like it is gone through like I'm not kidding, like three or four different stages of recording <laughs> quality. Um because I just kept having to try different things because the, the the all of the setups were like, they had like different pros and cons and some of them were just like so much worse in other ways than others. But I finally have something that is good quality, is reliable, doesn't fuck up all audio quality, but um, but it uh, but it also like functions properly with my Elgato, which uh, I need. I need whatever I capture to function with my Elgato because the Elgato has um, uh, has uh, instant game view, so uh, there's very little latency from uh, what I'm playing and what's actually being recorded. So like I can like share screens with people easier, and they're not like watching on like a one to two second delay, which was like the worst thing about having to use the original game capture. Anyway, 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 um, it is time to progress. There we go. All right, let's do it. Yo, three levels left. Yeah, no problem, editor. Think, uh, thanks for thanks for asking about it. I I love talking about like audio and like other like footage recording equipment. I I this this kind of stuff is like my jam. I'm like I'm like extremely passionate about this kind of stuff. SpongeBob. You've got enough Gookie Goober tokens for me to teach you a new ability. Yeah, I had to go through a whole extra use. gauntlet to get it, so... Thanks for that. I, uh, do? Yes, you have the power of music. That's the sound an electric guitar makes. 257 and a half watts of ear-splitting metal! The power of music! You can steer the sonic wave right to where you want it to hit. We did it, Mindy! We went to Shell City and got Neptune's crown! Oh, SpongeBob, I knew you could do it. But my father is already at the Krusty Krab 2 on the other side of Planktopolis. Oh no! There are bucket heads everywhere! How will we get through? I found out that Plankton is controlling the bucket heads using those giant statues. If we destroy them, we can break his control. Let's get it on. Rad. Okay, so I think we have a penis point. Yeah, we do. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Absolutely. Metal forged by the power of rock. Let's try it out. Nice. <laughs> well, that didn't do exactly what I was hoping for, but... Hmm. 
regions. Almost would rather just try and take these guys out the normal way. Never mind. Good lord. Bungie challenge. Whoa, hold on. Bungie! Oh my god! There's a bungee. Ah! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! He got split apart and then fell into the lava in pieces! That's horrible. This is a lot. This is too much. This one's hard. Oh, that was too close. That was way too close. We are not doing that again. It's from uh, it's Incredibles. Just uh, go ahead and get this <laughs> so that I have one extra, maybe. Yeah. Nope. There we go. What the? That is. That's. That's. This is too. This is too wonky. Like, this This doesn't... I don't think this works. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's not get too NSFW in chat, y'all, please. Again, as I've said before, have some class. It, it, NSFW shit is not like straight up banned uh, like it is in, in Marvel's chat, but like, still. Actually, I don't want I don't want that to explode, damn it. <laughs> no. Oh ho ho.
This level, I can already tell, is gonna be, like, extremely hard. No! Oh, man! I'm feeling like more of a man already. Right back at ya! Really? You didn't do that this in the entire time I was standing right here last time. You can't just change the rules like that. Time for some long distance communication. Oh, fuck that guy. I didn't do exactly what I was hoping for. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I don't feel safe going in there just yet. Are there any more crabbly paths? Sandy! Oh no! Hold on, Sandy, I'll free you! No! <laughs> the security system! It's too great! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Ooh, hold on. Just like walking on ice cream. <laughs> Oh god, am I gonna be trapped? Okay, good. So you are not trapped. Only limited. No! Oh god, it doesn't stack! It doesn't stack. Just learn that the hard way. Light as a feather, but heavy as a brick. Okay, got that. Ooh, slidey stuff. What'll it be? Combat arena challenge. Oh no, do I dare? Yeah. I'll try it. If it seems like ridiculously hard, then I won't I won't spend too much time on it cuz again, I'm I'm considering 100%ing this game at some point. Um 
Because, I mean, all things considered, we're relatively close. Oh, wait! What the fuck? Hold on. <laughs> You're joking! That is so good! That is actually incredible! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm... I'm losing my mind. Combat arena challenge. Jesus. Time for some long distance communications. Super Sponge saving the day. That's extremely good. I'm I'm like in awe. That is genius. The entire game of build up just makes you expect that to be like the hardest shit in the world. They're just like, nah, we don't have anything for you. This is the last level. What do you want from us? <laughs> the level the level is the combat challenge. Um, I did do pretty bad and like essentially waste all of my health though, which is not super good. How am I so good at getting the timing just exactly wrong? Like, not even just wrong, like, exactly wrong. Exactly the wrong time to do things. No, 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 you wouldn't. You wouldn't do this to me. No, the wall jumping is bad enough. The wall jumping is bad enough. Oh my god, okay. Good lord. This kind of button can only be pressed by hitting it with the sonic wave. Thanks, thanks, Scarlet. I mean, I kind of figured that out, but I appreciate the attempt, I guess. You really? You really doing that? Well, uh, how about that? That giving up manliness. He's in the corner. <laughs> Again, the wall jumping, especially in these areas, is bad enough. Oh god, okay. That stressed me out. <laughs> it counts! It counts! Please, I just need another Borbger. Please, one more Borbger. Now, how am I supposed to do that shit? Oh, oh, I was probably supposed to jump above it when it gets low like that, huh? It definitely makes sense. So on edge, please, Borbger. No, not missile, Borbger. Borbger, Borbger, Borbger. Thank you, Borbger. Filling, but not heavy. Again, I refuse to believe that Krabby Patties are not heavy. 
he's that is that is that is crusty crab propaganda and I, I don't blame spongebob necessarily i i mean it's like it's his favorite job in the world i get it there's there is no way crabby patties are not greasy little shits No, oh man. Time for some long distance communications. Well, hey, actually, that's not too bad because I restarted from the checkpoint, which was right there, and now I have all my health back. So, actually, not too upset about that death. That was that was better for me. Why is it like this? I will say, I do appreciate the difficulty curve in this game. It's not- it doesn't just jump up in difficulty. It like- it, it is very good at, uh, easing you into it. I- I have- I have not felt this game is really, like, particularly unfair with the difficulty. Um, I would say the only exception being maybe some of the, like, time challenges, but, like, even then, there's an argument to be made about those. Because they're completely optional, and you kind of... You're kind of introduced to the concept of them being difficult every time you open one up. It's always like, hey, you did good on this last one, what about something harder? This sounds like Neopets Darkest Fairy music. Oh god, no, no, no! No. Jesus Christ, that explosion. What the? Why is that? noise so loud. I mean, it's an explosion. Good lord. There's a lick. There's a lick area. Hmm. Off to see the world again. No, this this game doesn't need a remaster like Battle for Bikini Bottom. It, it I mean Battle for Bikini Bottom didn't even need a remaster. There would be absolutely no justification to, to remaster this game. It, it does not tie into anything currently relevant in the realm of SpongeBob. No! Oh god! Oh, he's dead! Oh! No! Why is it? Why is it harder to do the the reflect with Patrick? Oh, you know what? It's probably because I'm... Oh, yeah, it's good. that's uh, right, because Patrick can't spin in midair. Damn. Damn, okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... I'll just take care of that with SpongeBob when I'm done with this <laughs> challenge. We'll 
will say this challenge is tough though. Yikes, a Rooney. I don't know if it feels like maybe. Okay, that's not the. Why do you send me, like, back? I really don't understand that. Yeah, if this game had a life system, it would just be... That That would... I, I, I believe that would almost single-handedly make the game unreasonably frustrating. As it is, it's hard, but it's, like, good hard. Okay, did this one. Oh, I guess... To, like, bounce on the right ones or whatever? What the shit? That's so... how would... how on earth would I have been able to know that that was a puzzle jump? There's absolutely no conveyance of that. That's never been a thing before. God. Okay. I mean, it's just a bonus challenge. I'm not too mad about it, but that was... that was weird. That was a weird choice.
right. That is the easiest I have ever latched on to one of these walls. <laughs> That's unheard of. Hi, Patrick. You good? You good, buddy? Why do you Why are you dressed like that? these motherfuckers first. Nope. And that also sucks. Hold on. Wait. Could I get away with this? No, it's too tight. Patrick, I'm sorry! <laughs> Oh shit. Mm. There we go. Yikes, that was potentially really rough. It is just you this time. Earlier, uh, it was not just you because the room was actually physically rotating, as we established. But this time, yes, it is It is in your head. Uh, you're going buck wild with insanity. Plankton's riddle? Only two of these buttons will lead you to safety. Beware of pressing the wrong buttons. Do I just have to guess, motherfucker? Wait. No, okay, no. It's the gr it's the green ones. <laughs> Plankton's trick. Alright. 
having a good time. This is a good video game. Jesus Lord, those sound effects. Can we get those any rumble air, please? I don't think we have enough in our video game salad. Now, if it is that inconsistent, how am I supposed to do that? You are joking. God, it really does not register unless I do a direct face plant. Just. Yeah, fuck you. It's a harder puzzle than Plankton's trick. Yeah. Seems like it. Good lord. Um... This is the only way I can think to reach that but it just doesn't have the power behind it. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe? No. Oh, come on. that is the way to do it. I just kind of have to... There we go. That is... Oof. That is iffy. Got it. Why don't I move up with them? <laughs> Even in the corners. 
I've had enough of this dude. Up, Cypher. How's it hanging? Thanks for dropping by, everybody. Damn it. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I knew that wasn't. That wasn't gonna be enough. <laughs> so much better the first time. What changed? Have I changed? Just finished watching the first part of this on YouTube, well fuck yeah, welcome. Been having a good time still. Oh, whoa! That's what I like to see. Fuck, that's not what I like to see. That's not so nice. That's not so nice! Nope. No, oh, why'd I do that? I forgot. Well, might as well just... Get it over with. Just get it over with. SpongeBob, just go. Goodbye. Into the sponge gnome. That was... I'm literally exactly where I was last time. <laughs> I love those one-shots. Me, when I read a particularly good My Little Pony fiction. But it only is one chapter. But that's all it needs to tell it's good. No, oh my god. One. Oh, okay. We did it. What the? What the yut the? What the yut? No! Yeah. 
Nope. Can't throw those back. Mother said it's my turn on the Xbox. We'll just see about that. I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got a show to catch. Plan C, I love you. You won't get away with this, Plankton. It looks like I've thrown up in my bed. You're almost home, guys. All you have to do now is make it to the Krusty Krab. Oh, You'll damn. You have to go as fast as you can to avoid the falling debris. SpongeBob, you're almost there, but you'll need the paddy wagon to make it through to the Krusty Krab. But Mindy, we lost the paddy wagon. I think I can bring it back. No. But you'll need more Goopy Goober No, 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 no! I can bring. I I can't even see how many I have. Okay. How many? Let's see. Is this... Wait, do I have to... Do I... I mean, don't tell me, but it's looking... Like there's a good possibility I'll have to get all okay only five Jesus It's looking like there's a good possibility I'll have to get all the goober tokens anyway just to beat the game at all Which is not so nice We'll see Where's changing booth? Oh wait, oh I don't need a changing booth, hold on. Just one by one. God, this music still slaps though. It's lessening the pain a little, not gonna lie. Wait, what? Oh, I do need SpongeBob. Thank you. 
trying to help you guys, but you need 50 Gerber tokens. You need these 50 fake shits. Yeah, Mindy is just Gerard the Completionist in disguise, forcing his will onto all passerbys. Ouch. NGL? This is pretty cool. Damn it. Never mind. Fuck it. I hate it. Just kidding. Ugh, this music. Yes. Go off. this music wouldn't be too out of place in a Rugrats game with all the instruments they use. I should play a Rugrats game. Nope, that didn't count. Fuck. I know there are a couple. I don't... I don't know if there are any that are, like, considered good, but maybe that's for the better. Oh my god, are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, there are Rugrats games. I, I know, I almost know for a fact there's one for uh, Rugrats in Paris. And then I think there's at least another, but I... I mean, there's probably more than that, though. R Rugrats was really popular, y'all. Like, Rugrats was like... Before Spongebob, Rugrats was like Nickelodeon's show. That was like... Their top dog. looking like a deadbeat. Uh, so I think the deal here is that 
The challenge is titled Up Chocolate Creek. So what I think has to happen is that I have to go backwards and um and g get those buttons that way. Yeah, see, there's a fucking bounce pads and everything. Oh wait, these were already here. Nope. Maybe it's the other way around. Anyone knows what this screen does? Please tell me. What type of video game could you make about literal babies? I mean, they made a TV show and movies about literal babies. gotta be okay i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to go from the beginning of the level go from there Wait, why am I fucking- why am I Patrick again? I just noticed. Don't look at me like that, but- ah! We've got to attack him. <laughs> Be boss for pie, please. Chat rules. Do not interact with chat unless you know the chat rules. How many fesh pins clips do I have? Uh, seven. I have. Drink. I have. You got to kick that man's butt. I've got the biggest ass that ever lived. What a douche. <laughs> I have. Oh my god, he's god. I have. Did he not feel pain when he was hurt? I have chicken and waffles. And then I have. We've got to attack him. missing is I could have a leg in one hand and a brave in the other. So here's the thing. Um, I intentionally excluded that one, not because I don't think it's funny. That's one of my favorite bits in the whole video. I just like, the, the problem is that I, you know, I designed the soundboard based on like use cases I think could be a thing. Um, leg in one hand and a brave in the other isn't the, isn't the 
most usable on on the regular. Now I will say neither is chicken and waffles, but it's shorter. <laughs> can't even mess up once. This takes way too long. Oh, fuck it up. Okay, uh, so that's everything in I'm Ready Depression. And we need three more. I wonder... What did I miss here? Would I ever play the sponge at a water tie-in game? I mean, I would. I don't see why not. I don't see why I wouldn't. Uh, I mean, I, I can't say it's... Oh, shit. Uh, that wasn't... Where I was supposed to go. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. Yeah, I don't. I don't see why I wouldn't. Like it. Uh. On, only, only, only thing is that it's not like a priority or anything. Yeah, I know it's not a good game, but it's a game. And I do those around here. Um... Damn. Damn! You know what? This, this, this music is actually just coming from Indy's mouth. Have I ever tried the Truth or Square one? No, that I mean, that was around the time where I stopped watching Spongebob or, like, buying movie games regularly. Hey, a desert. 
And I don't, I don't really have much interest to revisit it. Truth or Square is like one of the worst periods of SpongeBob history. God, yeah, Atlanta Square Panis is so bad. <laughs> Isn't the Atlanta Square Panis game, like, kind of like a WarioWare ripoff? I swear there's, like, one SpongeBob game like that. No, I'm not thinking of Lights, Camera, Pants. Lights, Camera, Pants is not WarioWare. Lights, Camera, Pants is more like Mario Party without the board game. I, I, I could, I could be remembering wrong. I could be remembering wrong. I could just be not remembering. Oh, Squiggle Pants was the Warrior Rare buff. Okay. That makes sense. I I, I I remember seeing a vid like a video about a SpongeBob Warrior Rare buff somewhere. Damn, this is well this this one isn't gonna happen. There's no way. Shit. Yeah, no, this it's not happening. Oh man, I'm uh, kind of running out of time. Yeah, but, but like stream time. I might need to pick this up yeah, again yeah. later. Okay, so here's what I'll do. I'll beat this and then I'm going to I'm going to turn this run into a 100% run, or at least like every goober token run. The last stream, the third the third and final stream of this is gonna be beating the game's main story and then getting the rest of the tokens. Jesus Christ, that screen delivery. I, yeah, but, but I feel like that's a good way to split this. Oh man, the fact that it keeps going even in the death animation is brutal. It doesn't even just keep your time, it keeps adding on to it. That was like five seconds just out the window. PC version of Lights, Camera, Pants was a point and click game. I don't know if there was a PC version of Lights, Camera, Pants. Um, the movie game PC version was, uh, a point and click, and I think, wasn't there, there, there were, there were, there were definitely a couple point and click Spongebob games. Well, that was different. 
I, I don't remember Lights, Camera, Pants having a PC version, though. I, again, I could be wrong. But just from memory. Shit. I don't think this is the one, either. It did, okay. Well then, color me, uh, incorrect. That's really interesting that they did so many, they did so many point and click adaptations of these SpongeBob games. That's so weird. Damn it. Oh. All right, la uh, this is gonna be my last try and then I'll, I'll call it regardless of the result. Get down the slide in less than the me- Than the me- I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stop looking at chat as frequently as I have been, just so that I can hopefully beat this, this go-around. So apologies if my commentary is screeched to a halt at this point. Oh, we did it! We did it! Yeah! Beautiful. You guys rock! As promised. <laughs> Hell yeah. There is no more left for this realm. You've beaten everyone's time. I do what I can. As do I. Then how about beating your... No. There's there's a certain upper limit of how well I can do. Okay, so for next time, I think I'm actually going to go through get the rest of the tokens first. And then 
beat the last, well... Uh, no, actually that won't be possible because this requires a couple, uh... Requires a couple tokens here. Okay, we'll, we'll, do, we'll play it by ear. We'll play it by ear when, when, when it comes around. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this next stream. Uh, so, um, uh, and also, unfortunately, there actually will not be, uh, a fan art showcase this time around, as I mentioned at the beginning, but I know some of y'all obviously were not here at the beginning, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to, uh, just, uh, save, and then head out, uh, I, uh, Blue is not currently streaming, uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm gonna just direct you to her channel directly, um, it's a way to say that. Uh, so, uh, if y'all would like to watch Blue play Resident Evil 3 tonight with me on call as co-commentary, uh, that should hopefully be happening relatively soon. Uh, so go to twitch.tv slash bluespacequeen. That is bluespacequeen on Twitch. Uh, give her a follow. Uh, come support the stream. Um, and yeah, it should be a good time. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop off. Thank you, everyone, uh, for watching. Thanks for thanks everyone who who donated, who hung out. Y'all are great. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are extremely generous and nice. And uh, I'm 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 very proud of the of the whole community for just being a good bunch of people. And uh, yeah, take care of yourself. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you real soon. Bye.